Hey friends, John Kennedy here, and this is a quick run through on how to configure your Space Max install. If you've ever done any kind of Emacs configuration before, you're used to editing files in like the .emacs.d directory, which Space Max takes over for its own use. Space Max instead gives you the .space Max file in your home directory, which exposes all of its custom configuration. If you're inside of Space Max, you can always load up that dot .file by pressing space FED, which is very handy. You'll notice there's a lot to it. Most of it's comments. It's over 300 lines, but it is the best commented config file I've ever seen. They've taken great care to ensure that all of these directives uh, have something that explains what they do. So there's quite a few of them, so we're not going to go through all of them, but I highly recommend you take a look. Instead, we're just going to hit the quick highlights of the things you're going to want to touch first. The default font directives, .space max default font. This gives you just a quick way to set the uh, Emacs font. So here's your name. You get size, weight, and width, and also the power line scale, which is kind of the little glyphs down here on the mode line that make it look cool. You can see that mine aren't sized appropriately. I haven't been playing with the uh, power line scale value very much, uh, but you could, and your glyphs would look better than mine. While we're here, there's also the dot space max themes list, which is a list of color schemes that you can cycle through very quickly. So if you press space capital T S you'll get a completable list of all the themes that you've got installed and you can select any one of them and change it around. Um, so for example, Twilight is a good theme. So we'll take a quick look at that one. Uh, I, I was wrong, Twilight's not that good of a theme. But regardless, if you liked it, you could put it in this list and then space capital T N would always switch between the themes in this list. So you can see this is Tomorrow Blue and Tomorrow Day. I like to have a dark theme and a light theme so I can quickly uh, switch between both of them just with that quick keystroke. So you can put whatever themes you like in this list and cycle through them. You can have two, you can have 20, whatever floats your boat. Here you can customize the startup lists in the uh, space max buffer. You've got the recent files and projects. You can uh, customize what shows up and how many of them. So the big thing that you're going to want to look at closer to the top of the file is the dot space max configuration layers list. And that's kind of right here. And this is a list of configuration layers that SpaceMax is going to load. What's a configuration layer? In SpaceMax, a configuration layer is a bundle of one or more Emacs packages and all of the configuration required to make them work with SpaceMax. And it all comes together in a named package. You put the named package in this list, and then SpaceMax gets better. So you can see some of the ones that I have are Git, which gives you the nice magic package, but it also gives you in addition to just this magic front end for Git, it gives you all of the configuration to make it work well with uh, Space Max's uh, Vim key bindings. Org mode is life, and you should have that installed. The shell package gives you uh, the little quick uh, shell that I've shown off in the past by pressing space apostrophe. That's provided by the shell layer. If you don't have the shell layer enabled, it won't load. Um, and here's a good example of some of the configuration variables you can pass in as you uh, put items in this list. So for example, if I can change this to top, write out this file, space FE capital R will reevaluate this file, and then you can see that it's back on the top. I actually like it on the bottom. So a few of the things, uh, spell checking, syntax checking, the themes mega pack is how we got that big list of themes. Uh, install that if you like colors. Evil commentary just lets you very quickly toggle comments for a line, and then various languages that I use. So how do you know what configuration layers there are? If you press space HL, you'll get an auto-completed list of all the configuration layers that SpaceMax has. Uh, these are shipped with SpaceMax, so as you update, you might get more configuration layers because they've added ones, or you might uh, have a few drop off because they've been obsoleted. So for example, if we take a look at the shell documentation, you can see all of the um, installation instructions, configuration values, kind of a, a good explanation of what it is the shell package does and how it does it. So most of your configuration layers will have documentation that's just this good, and it's very easy to kind of dive in and figure out what something does. And if you'd like it, it's easy enough to add it to your list and reevaluate your file and get it installed. So that's basically it. First things I do, I set my font, I set my theme list, and I get all of my configuration layers set up. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you next time.